Boys, this card looks absolutely ridiculous. 200,000 coins, 6 foot 5, high medium, 4 star, 5 star, but you look at his in-game stats, and it's just like, what? 99 stamina, 99 heading, 96 ball control, and the fact he's 6 foot 5 with 90 agility, 96 ball control, 99 composure, 98 positioning, 95 finishing. This man is genuinely the Belgian version of Hullet. Very, very versatile as well. If you want to be playing him as a more defensive styled player, look at those stats with an anger. He goes into team of the season, 9 a goal in gang. Look at that, 91 plus in every single stat. If you're going to be using him as a more box-to-box -box minded player, you'll be going for an engine. It makes him a 97 rated cam, a 96 rated center mid, but most importantly, it gives him that balance balance boost which we have gone for the engine on him today i feel like it just makes sense with the balance boost etc now the one thing i feel like the one thing i feel like this card is missing six foot five which can be good can be bad obviously you'll tower over your opponent going into the tackle you'll be very confident but he's got the high and average body type which comes with it meaning he'll be a little bit heavy on the turn despite his good agility and balance um but i also think the other little nitpick i have with him is 72 aggression if you're going to be using him as a cdm that 72 aggression will be an issue so i think you'll obviously go for an anchor but even then an anchor only gives a plus five aggression and 77 aggression still is not the best so i feel like the aggression is the only con i can see with this card but other than that he's 200 000 coins and dropping he was 185 when i just checked before so the fact you can get this card for relatively cheap and i mean if he was a french dude in the league and he would be like at least 400k so let's get into the review and let's see if he's worth it almost forgot this is how we will be playing him in game as a right center mid as a box to box we may move him up to cam for Ronaldinho and sub off Ronaldinho full road to the final Tiago if we want to get him in a more attacking role. Gone. The second touch of a match. I mean, his ball control is actually really nice, as expected. Nice little run. And look at those work rates as well. High medium, so he's making that run forward. I like that about him. Go on, keep going. Oh, look at that. There we go. He gets that follow through. He gets that tackle through. Come on, we need a goal here. Terry Henry. Is it going to sneak in? It's not. That was very, very close. Go on, Vanekin. Go up a little bit. One more. Nice ball control. Dude, he didn't go down there as well. That's actually amazing. He's got that strength to actually hold up. Go on, and the balance to hold up as well. Now, we could have gone down. We could have gotten the foul, but no. He gets tackled, and most players go down in that situation, but he's got the balance. He's got the strength to stay up. That's absolutely wonderful. Go on, look at that run. He kind of gets forward a little bit. Just keep going. Play that off. Nice. Back to him. We need a goal back here now and soon if we want to stay into this. To Claus, he finds the space. That's nice. Into the box. We need to find this goal, but my opponent is playing very, very smart. Oh, look at that. Vanekin with the tackle as well. That was an AI. I didn't even do that. Vanekin, what a ball. Is that onside? That was onside. What a brilliant ball here. Come on, Rodrigo. What can we do? Into the box, Rodrigo with a shocking pass, man. So slow. You know what, boys? We've got 30, 20, we've got around 20 minutes to get a goal back. We're subbing Neymar on. We're subbing Thiago on. Moving him down to center mid. And we're subbing on Vanekin at Cam. All right? This is his chance to shine. This is his chance to pull off a miracle. Go on, that's an assist for Vanekin, boys. We have got very small hope. We've got two minutes left. At least we got a consolation goal. And we got to see Vanekin in the camera. But if we can win it back here, who knows? Unlucky, my opponent just passed it around the back. But boys, at least we got one back. And I'm actually very happy. Vanekin in the cam position played quite well. Because although he's got high medium work rates, he still dropped back a little bit. Now, he did pick up the assist as well. 7.2. It was a rough game to try him out. My opponent was a very, very sweaty player. Just spamming, left stick dribbling, etc. Making it hard for me to get the ball. Um, and as well, he passed around the back for the last minutes for us to try and push that equalizer. Which I don't blame him for that. But he got an assist in the end. We're going to bring him into a second game. First game is promising signs relatively big we he went into a couple tackles he got forward very well his passing was exceptional as well very very positive first game from him although we didn't get the result we wanted i'm not joking when i say we've been searching for the past 50 minutes 
to find this match. Oceana servers at 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 was when I started searching. It's currently 9.25 a.m. Right, let's go, boys. We finally found the match. Let's test him out for the second and final game. John Vanekin. Look at that ball to Rodrigo. It's absolutely unreal. Rodrigo, keep going. John Vanekin. First touch of the game. Gone. They're getting forward a little bit. Waiting for my opponent to try and tackle me so I can try and uh, left stick dribble my way out of this. He's still going. Gone into Ronaldinho. Around Ronaldinho. It's a little bit heavy in Kunku. That will do. He's onside. Very, very jammy there. If we didn't get tackled with Ronaldinho, that very well could have been a second assist for him. Second half. We are going to indeed try him out as a cam again. We're going to sub Ronaldinho off, Ronaldinho off for Thiago as well. We want to get that first goal with him. Gone Rodrigo. Straight away making that run forward. Gone with a touch. Gone. Can we finish that far post? This is five star weak foot. Straight at the keeper though. Gone. Over the top to Rodrigo. Look at that ball from him. Couldn't Can Rodrigo finish? Of course he can. That's an assist for Vanakin. Or Van, Van, Vanakin or Vanakin. It's one of those two. But that's an assist for him. The second of uh, the second of assist of today. There we go. Bit of a tongue twister. Go on. We've timed that again. Rodrigo. Can he get to it? Rodrigo versus Rodrigo is absolutely unreal. Can he get the shot away? That is another assist for Vanakin. And, and bro, this Rodrigo card is carrying me right now. Well, what a performance from not just me, not just Rodrigo, but obviously Vanekin uh, as well. He was absolutely phenomenal, boys. Now, he picked up two assists this game, and he didn't get his goal, but two games played as a box-to-box -box center mid. I'll say about 65% of the time as a box-to-box -box center mid, and the other 35% of the time as a cam. And he picked up three assists in two Division One Rivals games, which, honestly, that's a very good return. Now, this card is like the budget Hullet. He's Hullet from Wish. He's tall he's got that box to box vibes with an anchor he's 91 plus in every single stat so for the chem style we've gone for an anchor or an engine if you're playing him as a cdm it's an anchor if you're playing him as a box to box center mid or a cam it will be an engine we've gone for pros with height and in height i mean when you're defensive height is a massive massive pro because you just tower over them and obviously you feel a lot stronger than you actually are five star weak foot is absolutely phenomenal very two-footed meaning you've got multiple options and you're very unpredictable we've got a sprint speed shooting positioning blah 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 you can see all of that but just to sum it up his shooting passing and his actual ball control and composure was phenomenal 96 ball control and i say his composure was phenomenal we didn't have to test his composure in front of net so much but that 96 ball control for a six foot five man is outrageous 99 heading 99 stamina and 99 strength now the only two cons i've got is a high and average body type and although he has got 95 agility and 96 balance in game with the engine he's still going to be heavy on the turn uh, like i think any six foot five give a six foot five player 99 agility 99 balance they'll still be heavy on the turn right um but still nothing you can really do about that the main pro or con that i have an issue with is that 72 aggression if you're playing him as a cdm yeah sure if you play him as a cdm you get that anchor boost which puts him to 77 aggression but if you want that plus 10 aggression you have to sacrifice that pace boost for a guardian or a sentinel which gives him a plus 10 aggression so I feel like you're in a bit of a predicament when it comes to that aggression. I've got him down as better than 94 in form De Bruyne, which I believe is third in form or second in form De Bruyne. And I've got him worse than the team of a season De Bruyne. Personally, as a box-to-box -box and as a cam, I would much rather take my De Bruyne. You could debate that Vanekin is a lot better as a CDM than Tots De Bruyne, but even then Tots De Bruyne has got that 87 aggression, which is what this Vanekin card is lacking. All in all, though, a really nice card, and I'm going to give him a 9.7 out of 10 he's foot champs quality division one quality 110 percent guaranteed the only problem as well is trying to link him in but if you can link him around to icons you've got a brilliant card on your hands if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time